Gypsy Rose, my gorgeous snuggles. <laughs> you are the most wonderful woman that I've ever known. I still fall more and more in love with you with each passing day. When you walked into the visiting room the first time, I realized at that moment I was meeting the love of my life. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. As if Gypsy Rose Blanchard's life couldn't get any messier, it does. As many of you know, Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her husband, Ryan Anderson, are separated and they're going through a very nasty divorce from restraining orders to spousal support requests. Things are not going as Gypsy initially expected. Guys, uh, y'all will see what really happened on Lifetime. Uh, we were filming a lot, so uh, stay tuned for that. And I just want to thank everybody for the support. Yesterday, I shared an article with you all that reveals some of Gypsy and Ryan's nasty arguments and what led up to them, which included Gypsy claiming that Ryan had a food hoarding addiction and she would sometimes clear out the fridge, which would put Ryan into a very bad mood and that which eventually led to some pretty nasty fights, according to a close source. But evidently, that's not the straw that broke the camel's back. Another source, but this sounds like someone on Ryan's team this time, speaking to TMZ, sharing that Gypsy's ex, Ken, is the reason Gypsy no longer wanted to salvage her marriage with him. The close source says that Ken called Gypsy's stepmom, Christy, in January. Around the same time the first season of The Prison Confessions aired, and he wanted to clear the air by stating... The reason he called off the engagement with Gypsy was to give her space to grow with all of her newfound fame. So Christy was asking what his relationship status was and he told her that he's single, he wasn't married, and he wasn't trying to get back with Gypsy or even mess things up with Gypsy's marriage. Hmm. First of all, if it is true, Chrissy is out of line 1000% having any type of communication with an ex of Gypsy's. I don't care if it was an ex fiance. While she's still married to someone, I just think that's disrespectful in my opinion. Now Ryan is going to lose that trust with Gypsy's family, which eventually would lead to what? Arguments. Ryan says that he believes most of the issues with Gypsy started after Ken was still communicating with the family and was a trigger for the split. Now, I would hope that Ryan would not think a girl who plotted her own mom's death would do things morally correct, but he just had so much hope and faith into that marriage that he thought that he could turn some things around and it just didn't happen that way. He wanted this marriage. As you could see, he wrote a very heartfelt letter in the beginning of this video, and it just really sounds like he's in it for the right reasons. He's in it for love. So Gypsy, eight years behind bars, did not rehabilitate her. For Gypsy, it was just freedom. Being in prison didn't change the person she was. It just took her out of the toxic environment that she was in and put her right into another toxic environment, in my opinion. Since Gypsy was taking pills in prison, she was not getting the therapy that she should have been getting. Ken's part that he plays in Gypsy's life now is very odd and calculated because he even gave Gypsy's stepmom a ring. Like, how odd is that? How is that even flying past Gypsy's dad? I mean, that's to me disrespectful. I am ready for Ryan to tell his side of things because sources are really dragging him and his character about what happened in the relationship from his snoring to him being a hot sweaty mess in bed. Like what? A lot of what's being said about Ryan is just another ploy to get ammo for the divorce proceedings in my opinion. But tell me what you guys think below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you won't miss any updates. Bye for now.